Hi everyone, this is Shashank Mishra, currently working as Data Engineer 3 at Expedia and in today's video, we will discuss how Big Data makes app better. So before starting the video, if you are new to the channel, then hit the subscribe button and if you want to keep learning from industry experts, then don't forget to check out Scalers event page, link is in the description box. So in modern day tech world, most of the product based companies have their applications like web apps, Android apps, iOS apps and this is their actual selling point too. And the companies are working really, really hard to improve their application experience so that they can give the good, good customer experience. And this is the point where big data actually creates a huge, huge impact so that these companies will be able to compete with their rivals. And let's try to understand how big data makes app better with the help of few pointers. So the first point is developing customer driven application. So the initial success of any application depends completely on few important aspects like how easily that application can be accessed, the eye catching UI, bug free applications. These are the very important factors which will give the best of the best experience to the users and that is the actual thing you want to deliver. But the question is as a developer how would you know that what is the actual need of the customers and how you can improve your application and that is the part where behavioral analysis will come into the picture and that is how big data will create a big impact here because with the help of that data or feedback because as soon as you launch your application the users will start using it and they will keep on sending the feedbacks that what kind of feature they are liking, what thing is best working in that application and once you have all those feedbacks with you as a developer you can actually point out those things which you need to fix in your application. It can be any bug or it can be a new feature development. So that's how with the help of feedback and behavioral analysis you will be able to deliver the actual things which are required by your customers and that's how you are improving the user experience. Second point, custom notification for the marketing. So nowadays companies are focusing a lot in innovative marketing ideas and custom notification is one of them. So nowadays we all are using different different applications for different products like food delivery, shopping and these applications are like again mobile applications, it can be Android and iOS application. So this custom notification part has become a very very innovative idea of the marketing. So the best example is like few time back I was using the Zomato and Swiggy applications which are basically for food delivery and these applications keep on sending custom notification to their users and these notifications are sometimes very funny. So you will definitely enjoy that application that experience first of all and example could be like let's say for a long time you haven't ordered anything on Swiggy or Zomato. So those notifications will be like long time no see these kind of stuff funny stuff you will keep on getting and that's how they are improving the user experience and that custom notification is a kind of a reminder for the user that it's been a very long now it's time to order something from Swiggy or Zomato. So that is how they are improving their marketing game and they are even converting more selling points and second best example again from Swiggy. So last year what they did, they again adopted a very innovative marketing idea. In the year end what they did, they analyzed your order history and based on that they prepared a annual report card. Like the way we get the report cards in our school time, similarly they prepared it like the order history, how much you ordered, the scoring and all these things. So that was definitely an innovative and funny idea to just engage with the users and customer and that is how they are improving it. This custom notification has become a game changer for most of the product based application and that is how you can even see the impact of big data. So let's say the Swiggy or Zomato are not analyzing the data they have that is the historical data which is kind of cold storage. So if you are not analyzing it, you are not using it for innovative purposes that means you will be not able to improve that user experience time to time with the help of these application and that is how we can see the impact of big data. So let's say Swiggy, Zomato or any other product based application is not analyzing the data which they have in their databases. 
then they won't be able to innovate in their market strategies. Now let's talk about the third point, real-time data analysis. So today's world is very fast and to stay ahead in the competition, it becomes really, really crucial for the companies to analyze the rapidly changing patterns in the real time. And we will be only able to do that if our applications are capable enough to capture the data in real time and process it too. So let's try to understand this real time data analysis with the help of two simple examples. First, let's say there is a lifestyle or fitness application which keep on taking users data like eating, sleeping cycle and other patterns. And this data will actually help the app developers to create user centric applications. And these improved features will help the users as well to adopt the better lifestyle. This data which will be captured by these fitness application can even be used by the medical professionals so that they can get to know more about you, your lifestyle and appropriate measures will be taken. Now let's take another example of the safety features in applications like Uber. So if you are using these ride hailing applications like Uber and Ola, then you would have seen this feature where let's say you took a ride and at given point of time, if your driver took a pause for more than two, three minutes, then instantly you will get a notification from the Uber that what is the reason your ride is stopped. And if you feel something, you feel uncomfortable and you think that you want to send a SOS notification to your primary contacts, then you can instantly use that notification and that message will be broadcasted so that your safety is ensured and how Uber is actually doing it. So that is being done with the help of real time data analysis. So their application keep on tracking the current location of the driver and as soon as there is a unusual activity or a pause of more than two, three minutes, Uber will instantly send the notification so that appropriate measures can be taken. And next point is more sales conversions via personalized recommendations. So these applications are actual selling point for these companies. And this is the point where big data is actually helping these application to do the predictive analysis. So let's understand this with the help of practical examples. So let's suppose these e-commerce application, Amazon, Flipkart, Walmart. So as a customers, we will definitely would like to purchase something and Sometimes what happened, we saw a product, we quickly added it into a card or wish list, and let's say after that we forgot about it and we never purchased it and that is still maintained in our card history or wish list. So at that time what these platforms would like to do, they will try to send the notification that something is in your card or wish list so that you can again recheck it and that is how they are doing more sales conversions because something was in their card and as soon as you will get the reminder from these companies in the form of personalized recommendations, you will instantly go check out the cart and done the payment and they are making more money. And next example is actually related to the OTT platforms like Netflix and Amazon Prime. So here how these platforms actually work, whatever activities we are doing, they are capturing it, they are storing it, they are trying to build some models on top of it and that is actually the data analysis so that they can find a pattern that what is your taste. So let's say today you watched an action movie and continuously for two, three days you watch those sort of movies. So after some time, even from the Netflix side, you will keep on getting those kind of personalized recommendation where you will get new notifications for those newly launched movies, action movies, so that they can retain their customers and that will be their selling conversion as well. So as soon as you will see an interesting movie title or any favorite hero or the actor actresses, you will be eager to watch that movie. And that is how they are retaining their customers with the help of personalized recommendation engines. So the last point is improving overall application performance. And this is the most crucial part. So it doesn't matter how beautiful UI is, if as an application, we are not able to scale at any given point of time, we are not able to scale the massive traffic, then we won't be able to compete with our rivals. And this is the part where big data is actually helping these applications to improve their performances. So how big data is actually helping these applications to improve their performances? 
simple idea is the log analysis so what happens whenever we develop our application those applications will be hosted on some servers and when we talk about the large scale of the traffic or concurrent user request so there should be a some mechanism so that we can log these requests or we can monitor this traffic so as soon as there is a huge concurrent request we can auto scale our application so that we can manage it and we can load balance all these things in order to provide a seamless experience to our users so the best example of this scalability part is the ott platform like disney plus hotstar so if you remember that 2019 india new zealand world cup semi final that was the point where hotstar actually did a commendable job so more than 15 million plus concurrent request were there so just imagine this massive scale if as a product they were not able to scale themselves then that would have been a bad user experience their application would have been crashed as well so as an application now you can even imagine if you are able to visualize these logs or whatever traffic is coming into your system how easily you can monitor that threshold value and you can auto scale that application so that is how even big data is helping a lot to these application to improve their performances whether it is the health check of the servers and even to auto scale themselves whenever there is a concurrent user request on the system so that's it for today's video and i hope now you have a better clarity that how big data is impacting these web and mobile application and if you find it informative then make sure to like this video and share it with your fellow friends and if you have any query related to any topic feel free to put it in the comment section and also subscribe the channel for more such type of amazing updates i will see you next time